ge we, well, volcanologists, geologists refer to as an ignimbrite. And it's a pyroclastic deposit produced by an, a, a very powerful explosive eruption. And as we saw yesterday, when the eruption columns go high up, become unstable and collapse, a, a gravity current will move rapidly towards the surface and then move along the surface, carrying all this material and, and dumping it off uh, as it goes. And this ignimbrite was actually fairly hot, and there's very good evidence for that. And the evidence for that are these light green uh, specks in here, or fragments in there. If you look at it in a, a broken surface, looking at the top or from the bottom of it, you will see actually they're, they're not this flattened out, they're actually fairly large grains. These are what we call fiames. Uh, Originally, they were pumices, so they're highly vesicular. When they were thrown out, if they would have re uh, remained so in that state, they would have floated on water, they're that vesicular. And, but they're still hot, and as they landed on this and, and more piled on top, they, the whole structure collapsed and they flattened out and were stretched out as well during that process and formed these nice elongated uh, uh, fragments in the ignimbrite showing clear evidence that this was fairly hot up on time of emplacement. And since then, of course, originally these were glassy. So if you had seen them fresh, they probably would have been very obsidian-like. But of course this has been buried, subject to groundwater circulation and low temperature metamorphism, which has actually turned everything into clay, hence the light green color. And the green color comes from the iron, which is in, in this uh, glassy material, in this magma, as it were, at the time. And uh, this is typical for Icelandic rhyolitic magmas. They're actually fairly iron rich. You see other grains in this ignimbrite as well. You see a lot of fragments which have show no evidence of any deformation or any flattening. And these are all lava lithics of various types. Some of them are red, some of them are gray, some of them are almost black, some of them are reasonably green, showing evidence that they were actually altered probably prior to being incorporated. And this is what we call lithics. They were cold, crystalline and cold when they were incorporated. Most of them probably come from the conduit walls as the magma was rushing out of the, the vent and incorporate it into the explosive mixture that way. Some of them are actually picked up by this flow as it moved across the landscape.